welcome to another episode of Six Minutes on CBS. I'm Cameron Brady, and today we're interviewing the great Benedict Arnold and his lovely assistant, James Wilkinson. So, welcome, Benedict. Thanks for having me, Candace. So, how have you been after your injury you got in your leg? I've been fairly good for the time being. Now, they did say that, did they ever figure out how it happened? Wasn't it grape shot? Uh, we don't know how it happened, but we believe a ricochet bullet hit me in the that. And then I heard you were very, like, persevering your men to keep going. What kept the fire inside of you? That we need to take this away from the British. We hate the British. We need to keep the good spirit. Forget about the bad things that are happening. Think of the good. You're so inspirational, and I love that you have the perseverance, and that's so great. But then we did hear that before you were fighting, you had gout. Is that correct? Yes, I had an inflammation of, in my joints that was called gout, and it was very hard for me to persevere and keep going on with this war happening. So then I'm guessing the gout kind of brought you to a more like, I'm ready to do this type thing, and like you were really ready to fight that war in Quebec? Yes, I was really ready, but God decides we either have an illness or we don't. Yes, and then now, you planned the back route to Quebec, correct? Yes, I planned this route. And then, what made you decide to do that? Because it's pretty harsh. We, it was winter, right? Yeah, it was winter. We wanted to have a surprise attack. Instead of like Montgomery, who just wants to have a direct attack, mm -hmm. we wanted to have a surprise attack. And then, you had some hardships along the way, am I correct? Yes, we had some hardships along the way, of, along with the winter and some bad oh, storms yeah. coming along. Didn't some people leave along the way, too? Yes, they turned back to get more supplies, but they took the rest of our supplies. So then, what did you guys have to eat if they took most of your supplies? Most of our men had a soup mixture, and then while I was scouting ahead, some of our men ate their board stock. That must have been awful to get to a point where you have to eat someone's dog. Yes, uh, my men took it very hard, especially Dearborn. He took it very hard. That For me, I didn't take it that hard because I was not there to eat the dog. That would have been awful, but you guys did a great job in fighting, and you're doing amazing. So, um, when we come back from the break, we're going to have James Wilkinson. Thank you, Benedict Arnold. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I heard, I heard. Well, let's just like, the, the booths that they had back then sit, like, out of a second. Oh, that was Yeah, but, like, where are those, like, five-pound dudes everywhere? It's like, I've got to look this up. Hello and welcome back to Six Minutes. Right now, we have Benedict's lovely assistant, James Wilkinson. Welcome, James. Uh, hi. So, now, you are only 14, is that correct? Yeah. So, being a 14-year-old, what was that like, fighting in a war and everything? Well, it was, uh, it was very scary and intense. I couldn't imagine. When I was 14, I used to worry about little things like my schoolwork, my grades, my sports. What made you like decide this? Like, well, uh, I figured it would be a good cause to fight for the freedom of America from the British. And you did a great job. You were at the Battle of Quebec, am I correct? Yeah. And you were the second to last man out of Quebec, is that right? Yeah, I was in a canoe with Benedict Arnold on the way out. What was it like working beside Benedict and hanging out with him and talking? Well, he was uh, very serious about his um, fighting, and when we actually got to the canoe, he got off his horse and shot him so the British would have nothing to work with. What was your feelings of him killing his horse? Well, it was kind of, it was shocking and kind of sad. I could only imagine that. All these animals, the dog, and then the horse, yeah. that must have been very hard for you yeah. as a young child. And now, do you have anything else you'd like to say to Benedict? Like thanking or anything? No, not really. Okay, thank you so much for being with us today. It's very appreciated of both these strong men. They fought so hard for our freedom in America, fighting the British, and did a wonderful job through all their hardships. So thank you, both Benedict, who's backstage, and thank you, Wilkinson. And thanks for watching another episode of Six Minutes. This wraps up today's episode. Hope to see you next week. Bye!